What's up, YouTube? This is uh, a little test right here for the update of March 15th, 2010 of the updated Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. I am about to update y'all with the new Dragon deck. Everyone, this is a synchro heavy deck. This is updated for the advanced format for tournaments. So anyone that wants to run a Dragon deck, this today, the Dragon deck is coming back. Red Eyes is about to be reprinted, and I'm about to show you how to run the deck the most powerful way you can do. It's basically an OTK deck, and if you draw the right cards at first hand, like basically a Future Fusion, and a Red Eyes, and a Prime, and some other crap, man, it's a basically a win-win situation. So let's get started. Obviously, you run three Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragons. Okay? Simple. Long story short, special summon dragon from your hand or graveyard, or special summon him by removing a dragon from your uh, field. Okay, clear vice dragon. All right, light sworn people, be warned. Clear's vice dragon cannot be defeated. Honest will not kill him. Clear vice dragon will be doubled. You drop an honest on clear vice dragon. Basically, you run this deck in your, against those who like to write, you know, run light monsters or like to run honest in their deck. Uh, since they only run two honest, for shame. I love to go against three of them. What he does is basically he doubles the attack of the monster of himself. So a monster you face is 1,000. His attack is a question mark. So his attack is going to be 2,000. The guy drops Honest. Guess what his attack is now? 4,000. So Honest can't beat Clear Vice Dragon. Said and done. You Look it up in Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikipedia. If you Light Sworn monsters or Light Sworn people are all freaked out about it. Uh, dark Armed Dragon. Obviously. Two Dark Creators. Three Dark Horus. Special summon also if someone activates, the opponent activates a magic card in their phase, you can special summon a level 4 dark monster from your graveyard. Doesn't matter what type of monster it is, as long as it's dark and it's level 4. Red Eyes Wyvern, three of them. Fan of Chaos, we run two. Sky Scorch Norealis, we run one. No need to run another one. Uh, Prime Material Dragon, run one. He protects your field. Magna Drago, two star tuner, run one. Morphine Jar, Run one. Sangin, one. Plague Spreader, one. Dark Greffer, one. Gores, one. Okay. Now, we run two Gores sarcophaguses. Why? We need to get that Future Fusion just in case we don't, you know, draw it the first turn. Chances are you will draw one of the Gores sarcophagus or you will get Future Fusion. And it really does help you get that Future Fusion with two Gores in the deck. Trade in. Basically, this, do this deck does dead draw a lot. You need to start, you know, drawing. That's what trade ins are for. Uh, my body's a shield. Protect your monsters on the field. Uh, it's a quick play spell card also. A scapegoat. Everyone's like, why the hell are you running a scapegoat in this deck? Trust me. I've been using this deck for a while. And until I, until I put the scapegoat in, it has been a lifesaver. It has stalled me off some turns to get the big monsters out. And it does help you out to save you some time. Scapegoats do protect your life points. Card destruction. Basically, pitch the cards you don't need to the graveyard. To special summon if you have red eyes you know whatever you gotta do uh lightning vortex good way to discard because this card does uh this deck does deal with a lot of discarding giant tornade good combination for future fusion activate future fusion then giant tornade or future fusion and then activate future fusion again you just sent 10 dragons to the graveyard for five headed heavy storm obviously everyone needs one in the deck two bottomless trap holes one solemn judgment one mirror force one starlight road one Call of the Haunted, one Royal Oppression, and one Torrential. Let's go back to two cards back. Everyone's wondering what Starlight Road does. Everyone that wants to activate Heavy Storm or Mirror Force on your monsters, basically Starlight Road uh, negates the uh, effect of that card, and basically he special summons a star, uh, Stardust to your field. But you only get to use Stardust one time. So when you special summon Stardust, because it wasn't properly synchroed, he will use his effect, but he won't come back to the field. And uh, that's what we do. That's the deck we're running here. And, and anyone wants to know what I'm running on the side synchro deck, whatever. Uh, Five-headed, obviously. Two Stardust Dragons. X-Saber Arabellum. Thought Ruler Archfiend. Colossal Fighter. Mist Worm. Black Rose Dragon. Exploder Dragon Wing. Red Dragon Archfiend. Trident Dragon. Alive Justice, Doom Kaiser Dragon. Everyone's at like, why are you running Doom Kaiser? I got Plague Spreader, and those that like running zombie decks, certain people that run zombie decks like to run uh, Zombie World, and Doom Kaiser Dragon's in the side deck for that reason. Uh, Goyo Guardian and Brionic. So, like I said, there's a Plague Spreader in my deck. He, like I said, it's a synchro heavy, and it is a lifesaver. I don't synchro a lot, but it comes down to the point where I have to, I will. All right, that's my deck, everyone. Have a good day. Oh, and by the way, Scapegoats.